Hey, this is Ginger from Ginger Snapshots. Hey, this week I want to continue my video from last week where I talked about the Godox 4, 400 IIV version. Some people call it 5, but I call it V. Um, basically in that video, to summarize it, it's just showing the update and the change is basically the LED light. Um, is no, it's, the modeling light is now LED and is not a protruding, exploding, um, a tungsten light any longer. It produces a nice daylight balance uh, color, which is great for behind the scenes or if you're doing like a video type thing uh, and, and using it to add in your lights or whatever. And I've done that before. I, they've been in the studio and I tried to use my other lights as kind of fill light and it wasn't working because of the color temperature. Okay, so what I said in the last video was that I was had an opportunity to get uh, a kit that I was going to give a discount and no I don't I do not make any money from the link but I'm providing the link anyway um, was the snoot and the standard reflector now the standard reflector I have used this before uh, it came with my other lights I have about uh, three of these now I think um, and it works great I just normally use my style of lighting as a softer type light um, I'm shooting newborns and headshots uh, families that type of thing and I usually go for a larger light light source and when you're doing families you're going to need something larger I've seen a lot of people do this but for fun I did throw some images in and I took some images of myself I'll tell you what, as, far, as soon as I took images with the reflector, I, it, it seemed like it magnified the light. It just like, you don't have to use as much power because this really does make it bright. Uh, it's just a standard shade. Um, it adds to it. It gives you a little bit, a little bit more of a spread. Um, it's, it, is, it can be, I don't want to say it's harsh as, you know, as the sun. It's just not as soft as a large softbox. So, but, so here's a couple images with me. I first did it and it was like, whoa, turn that light down. And then I mess around with it. Um, and so you can see it, I would have to play around with that. Okay, so I know there's not much about this. It's, it's great to have it and you know, it's, it's worth the money. But what I was excited about was the snoot because I've never tried one. Um, it, they come together, so it's great. You get both of them. Um, so it has a Bowens mount. Both of these have a Bowens mount. So you can see that these are the little notches that go into the little holes here. On the light itself, um, you're just putting it in and click turn, and there you go. And so this is what it looks like. It's, it's nice and sturdy. It's not plastic, it's, it's metal. You don't want it to melt, um, but it's still lightweight. So it's nice um, and I just, as soon as I got it, I had to try it out. So what I did was I put a stool up and I put a, a stuffed animal on a stool and I just started looking at it. And what it does, it basically, it makes a spotlight. And it's kind of exciting to tell your client, hey, let me put you in the spotlight. And that's what it feels like. Like when I was taking pictures, it's like I get to be in the spotlight. Um, so that's what it was kind of fun with. So let me just show you real quick. So when, it, when you get this, I'm sorry, I don't mean to blind the camera. Okay, so when you get this, you pull this out and you have the camera itself uh, and then this little cup that fits on the end that has the little, what I call eggshell, looks like an eggshell crate. Uh, you just put that in there. This does make the, it look different. And I'll show you some shots with it. Um, basically, it just kind of, you know, it it narrows it down and I believe it looks more octagon instead of round, um, but it creates a different look that, and it depends on what you're going for. You really could have some really, f um, some themes with it. Um, you know, you just really could have some fun outfits, some racy outfits, just something, um, that's more, that's more, um, oh, trendy, that type of thing. Uh, just a lot of fun shots. And then it, it comes with a different filter. So it's got red, green, blue, yellow, and clear. Um, when it comes, you just want to pull off the little, there's the little clear protectors that you want to just pull that off there. Uh, and you can just start using them. The, and all that does is fit in that little cup, and fit on the end of it. And then when you put it in there, you're shooting out blue. So I, I did that. I did some shots, some colors with all, some shots with all the different colors to get a look of it. 
and then for fun I got behind the camera or in front of the camera I should say and took some pictures I just grabbed a, a different outfit real quick uh, put it on and I, I just did some fun shots and it was fun I did feel like I'm in the spotlight this is about me kind of thing and that's what you I think that would be really fun for um, you know, like a 30th or a 40th or a 50th birthday um, you know, or even, you know, younger, but I just think of uh, maturing women wanting to have some, some fun. Um, and you, you could do that. Now I do have a friend that I, I follow and I'm in one of her mentoring groups. Uh, she does predominantly does a lot of, uh, maternity and then she has, does newborns as well. And she does, she does a lot of fun stuff. She does a lot of things that, um, people want to have fun with I think you know I have a uh, and Amanda Capala if you're in the Arizona area she's great uh, she she has a wide variety but I, I'm just going to share her image with you here um, and I thought it was just beautiful this is a maternity and it's using that nice spotlight and this this particular client was asking her for that and she gave her what, exactly what she wanted um, and she's a good one to follow on Instagram Okay, so that's one real life scenario. Then here's just some of my images. Uh, for fun, I think I took an image with the red, uh, the red, and just to give that a try. So then, you know, I, I did all that on the, I did it on the gray wall, and I thought the gray wall was kind of um, unique because the way the, that it lights up only that, that soft, that circle spotlight, Everything else was dark around it, and I just kind of liked the look of it. The white is kind of the same way, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like as not as narrowed in as it was on this wall. Now you will have, you know, you have a little bit difference of a distance, and that makes a difference on how far back you are. Okay, so then I was curious, how is this going to do, or could you use this at, you know with this on the background and not on the subject and so I did this I just stuck this light on my stool and had it like right at uh, my waist you know about that waist down or right at my hips and paint pointed at the wall and it didn't quite give me the look that I was looking for I did up the power and I got a little bit more I just put a blue gel and I, I'll just, that's all I was trying to do was try to to get a to see if I could get a blue spotlight and it just really depends on like maybe if it was pointed at the ground and pointing up it would give a different look now i've used this with the you can get the barn doors and get the larger gel and i've done that before and i've had that pointed at the wall i did one with red and that was a long time ago and it made the whole wall like a reddish pink color and i liked it a lot and you can do that but with this you really got a spotlight and if you're like two foot from the wall you're not coming back far enough you'd have to have more space to really be able to kind of you get too close and all you're going to have is you know the closer you are you're going to have two inches you go out you get what i'm saying and so that that was not kind of a true test but i was curious if you could use it as small space um okay so then i ended my little self session uh, with the reflector and I was like wow it's so much brighter and I turned it down a little bit and I liked it I did I really did so it was a lot of fun so I'm glad I got to try this out I have to say I really can't wait to get a, a real client in the studio um, I'm in the process of moving like I said um, to a different state and moving to a creating a whole new studio. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, we're looking at a property that has a space that I can use for a studio and then build another studio again. Um, but I did learn a lot from building this one, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so it may be a while before I have a real client in this, the studio again, um, but I got to have some fun in the meantime. So I say for the amount of money you spend, have some fun with some Snoop, find somebody that wants something exciting and different and, and have fun with it. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time, bye. Oh, don't forget, hit like and subscribe.